The first thing we're asked to do in this question is to complete the probability tree diagram. We're told that the probability that Stuart wins a game of chess is three quarters. The probabilities need to add up to one, so the probability that Stuart does not win a game of chess must be a quarter. We're also told that the probability that Stuart wins a game of backgammon is a third. Because the probabilities have to add up to one, the probability that Stuart does not win a game of backgammon must be two thirds. This branch here is still Stuart winning backgammon or Stuart not winning backgammon, so the probabilities need to be the same a third and two thirds. I'm now asked to work out the probability that Stuart wins both games. I'm going to follow the branches. Stuart is going to win chess and then win backgammon. So it must be three quarters multiplied by a third. Three times one is three and four times three is 12. So this is my probability. I now need to work out the probability that Stuart will win only one game. To do this, if he wins chess, he must lose backgammon. Or, if he loses chess, he must win backgammon. So, I have three quarters multiplied by two thirds. Which is six over twelve. Or, one quarter multiplied by one third. which is 1 over 12. Because it's this or this, I need to add them. 6 twelfths plus 1 twelfth is 7 twelfths. This is my final answer. Here's a question for you to try. Press pause and have a go at it. When you're ready for the answers, press play. We're firstly asked to complete the probability tree diagram. You should have done this. Then we need to find the probability that Mia will pick only one mass watch CD-ROM. So if she picks a mass watch CD-ROM on her first choice, she needs to not pick one on her second choice. If she doesn't pick one on her first choice, she needs to pick one on her second choice. We then need to add these together to give this as our final probability. We then need to work out the probability that Mia will pick no mass watch CD-ROMs. So this is not mass watch and not mass watch. These two multiplied gives me 0.49. Here's another question for you to try. Press pause and have a go at it. When you're ready for the answers, press play again. The first thing we notice is that probabilities need to add up to one. So, if the probability of getting a 6 is 1 sixth, the probability of not getting a 6 is 5 sixths. We then need to finish the branches. This branch is getting a 6 on the blue dice, and this branch is not getting a 6 on the blue dice. I know that the probability of getting a 6 is 1 sixth, and the probability of not getting a 6 is 5 sixths. Again, this is the probability of getting a 6, which is 1 sixth, and this is not a 6, which is 5 sixths. This is what your tree diagram should look like.